Good evening and welcome to the seventh annual Lift Every Voice concert during African Heritage Month. Now, normally we'd be at the Halifax Regional Library, but that COVID has got us going virtual this year, so here we are. My name is Charla Williams, and I will be hosting this event for you this evening, so sit back and enjoy. And of course, events like this wouldn't be possible without sponsors. So now, here's a word from our sponsors. Good evening, everyone. I'm Osa Katchen, and I'm the Chief Librarian and CEO of Halifax Public Libraries. And on behalf of the entire library team, I want to welcome you to Lift Every Voice. If there's anything we've learned over the last two years, it's that even when we're apart from one another, music is one of those things that brings us together. So as we each lean in and listen to the performances tonight, I hope that you enjoy this outstanding showcase of talent. Now, a night like tonight only comes together with collaboration between different groups. And, and you know, the lead on this night is really Lou Gannon and the team at, the, at ANSMA. So thank you to Lou and your team for all your work. And a big thank you to TD. TD's ready commitment has provided funding that helps support the artists who are performing tonight. So really grateful to TD. And a big thank you to my library team who've worked hard to bring an array of programs to the community, both through this month and in the, in the weeks to come. So thanks everyone, enjoy the performance. Have a great night. Black History Month, a time to remember, recognize and reflect. While we'll celebrate, we also heard the call from communities and within to do more. More than just talk about inequity and injustice, but to add our efforts to the black excellence all around us. At TD, we support people and opportunities that help inspire, amplify, and elevate black communities. We are committed to do more than talk the talk. I'm Jeff Gillum, CEO for Eastlink. We're so proud to partner with ANZMA and the Black Cultural Center for Nova Scotia to celebrate African Heritage Month with this special broadcast of Lift Every Voice. We hope you enjoy this uplifting showcase featuring some of Nova Scotia's most amazing musical talents. I'm joined now with Zoe Tolliver. Zoe, thank you so much for being with us this evening. You started singing when you were four. Yeah, I started singing in church and ever since then, um, I've been singing at home. I started singing with my parents and then we all started singing in the church. Wonderful. And um, from there, I've just been singing. Well, you have a beautiful voice, so I'm looking forward to hearing you share O Canada and uh, lift every voice with us this evening. Yes. But uh, you're also an actor, I understand. You were in the Neptune Theatre's youth production company, The Frozen. Yes, I was part of Frozen and I um, played one of the trolls. Wonderful. Role. Was that exciting for you? Yes, it was very exciting. And is that something that you hope to do in the future? Um, I hope to continue it um, as I'm younger, but uh, in the future, I would like to do uh, voice lessons on the side for other children and teach them how to sing. Well, that's wonderful because um, there are such beautiful voices in Nova Scotia, and I'm sure with your influence, they will be even more beautiful. Yes. So thank you so much for sharing with us O Canada and uh, Lift Every Voice, the Black National Anthem.
Medley Smith and Esther is going to share with us some of her beautiful vocalizations this evening <laughs> and Esther I want you before you sing for us I would like you to comment and maybe reflect on the theme of this year's African Heritage Month through our eyes the voices of African Nova Scotians what does that mean to you um, I would say that when I think about through our eyes, oftentimes um, institutions are not reflected of us. Um, so it's nice to hear our stories in the first voice from us. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And the music that you're sharing this evening is gospel music. How did it you is. get involved with gospel music? Oh my gosh, from the time I was just a toddler, my grandparents were churchgoers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And my uh, grandfather, his name was Donald Johnson. He played piano for years, so my earliest memories were sitting at the piano with him, singing while he played. Esther, I understand you've got an exciting project coming up. I actually, I do. Um, I'm in studio right now, Sharp Five Productions. Shout out to Sean Downey. Um, and uh, we're putting together a full length CD, gospel CD, and it should be out in the spring of this year. 2022? Yes, so stay tuned. I look forward to it. Thank you. Esther Medley Smith lives in Dartmouth with family roots in Lincolnville, Nova Scotia. When you get to know her, it'll be evident that her faith, family, friends, and community are her passion. Mm -hmm. Esther can be found on various musical stages locally and across the Atlantic provinces, singing soul stirring genres such as gospel, R&B, and inspirational either as a lead performer or as a background vocalist. Esther is going to share with us this evening her beautiful voice with the gospel music. Esther, what selections are you going to give us this evening? Uh, this evening I will sing Take Me Back and You Deserve the Glory. Well, I so look forward to it, so I can't wait. Thanks, Charla. Take me back 
Cultural Center for Nova Scotia, the destination for the discovery of African Nova Scotian culture and heritage. The center is the first and largest museum dedicated to black history in Canada. The Black Cultural Center is filled with many stories that are waiting to be discovered. Explore African Nova Scotian culture and history and be inspired. Marco Simmons. Marco, it's wonderful to see you. It is amazing to see you too. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank now, you. this theme of this year's African Heritage Month is yep. Through Our Eyes. What are your thoughts on that? Do you have any reflections on that theme? Wow, Through Our Eyes, African Nova Scotia. The first thing that comes to mind for me is celebrating 
um, those with deep roots to Nova Scotia, not negating those that have come through um, other ways, immigration, anything like that, but to give respect and honor to those that were here first through our eyes, um, the Maroons, the Loyalists, the refugees. Mm -hmm. um, so th when I hear that theme, that's the first thing I think about. Mm -hmm. And I am proud to be a son of that lineage, um, Maroon specifically. Mm -hmm. So I am grateful that this, I, I, it is this month, but to be honest, I mean like, we celebrate Black History Month every day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking through our eyes. I know, right? Every, every 365, 24 seven. Yeah. But specifically to the theme, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that this theme is, is, is celebrating those that have come before um, because if it wasn't for them, we would not be here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I've only got a few mo moments, which is, mm -hmm. is very irritating to me because there's so much <laughs> I could talk to you about. I know, right? But I do want to mention that uh, you got involved with music in your youth and you maintained it through to a degree mm -hmm. from Berkeley College in music. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then... When you completed that, you came back home for a while and decided yeah. you was going to law school. I know, right? And now you're working on your articles so that yes, you can prepare to pass the bar and be a lawyer. Pray for me. Marco, I <laughs> am so proud of you. Thank you. I am Thank so you. proud of you. Any thoughts about why you moved in that direction? Um, wow. And th the, way, the way you put it? <laughs> Sound like a lot of work. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Um, why? What was the question again? Why the law? Well, why did you move in that direction? You went from music or, to or, the law. The reason why I moved in that direction was I found myself reading a lot of contracts when I was in when I was an artist. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm inherently an artist. That's who I am. Yes. Um, but I found myself reading a lot of contracts for not only myself, but for other artists. Okay. And then I started to manage other artists. So when I was doing that, I really didn't know a lot about contracts. And then at the time, um, my wife was like, you know what? You should just do, do the LSAT. Well, I don't know what the hell the LSAT is. So I looked it up, and I did the LSAT, and I got a passing mark to get into Dalhousie. Um, but to be honest, the reason why I got into law school was to make a new life for myself. Mm -hmm. um, as everyone in this room knows, the, the, the music world as an artist is hard. And you can make money, you lose money the next mm -hmm. month. So uh, for me, myself, I wanted to see another way where I could still do music but have that steady income um, outside of music. But listen, we're so happy and, to have yeah. you here doing this this evening. Why don't you tell me a bit about the, the music you're going to share with us this evening? Well, tonight I'll be playing one song um, by Chandler Moore called Lean, Lean On You. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm doing that song tonight is because when Owen called me, he don't know this, but when he called me to say, can you come perform, for some reason that song has been playing on my playlist for every day for the last seven days. Okay. I could not get it out of my mind. So I was like, you know what, let me just play this song. And it's, it's talking about leaning on you, God. Yes. Whatever I go through, I'm gonna lean on you. Mm -hmm. The second song is Rise Again. That was a song that I wrote back in, what, 2009 or whatever? When I was traveling with Dr. Rosa Parks. And it's a song in remembrance of her, dedicated to her, um, hence the title Rise Again, um, from Maya Angelou's poem, I Rise. Yes. So, um, so yeah, I, I wrote that song and did a lot with it with the Haiti earthquake, but it's just a song that's dear to my heart, so I want to do that tonight as well. Well, I look forward to uh, hearing you perform tonight. So, Marco Simmons, thank, thank you. you so much for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Try to escape the shadow I wanna medicate
soar above the clouds and be free what if in the mirror you could look to see a reflection of the person you could be you hold it in your heart you see it in your dreams times you feel the tears that brings you to your knees if the world so you feel my friend a message I share you can rise again just you wait and see you can rise again if you just believe no matter how hard it gets no matter what you see you can rise Struggles in your life says you'll never find a way With quiet segregation your life it slips away The dreams of your night seems to never see the day that will bring you Joy and peace along the way But if you just hold on And hold on to your faith hey, No matter what the people say Remember you have the strength To go on and be strong For you, my message today You can rise The African Nova Scotian Music Association, also known as ANSMA, is dedicated to the development, recognition, and promotion of African Nova Scotian artists and musicians. ANSMA produces several music showcases each year to celebrate African Nova Scotian music, such as the Black Vibe Showcase, Freedom Festival, Lift Every Voice Showcase, and the annual ANSMA Music Awards. Discover African Nova Scotian music.
I'm joined now by Rini Smith. Rini, thank you so much for being here for Lift Every Voice. Oh, it's a pleasure being here. Happy that I'm able to come in and share the stage. Now, I've been following your music career for quite a few years. I remember you starting as a young girl, mm -hmm. and you uh, released your first uh, EP, was it 2015? 2015. Wow. 2015, yes. And since then, you've developed a lot of uh, other projects that you're involved with. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, my career path has kind of taken a lot of different turns. Started off as being the girl that sang and played the piano, and then got into writing, and I've had the privilege to travel the world and write for people abroad and, and here as well. So um, that's definitely <laughs> something that I didn't expect, but you don't know where your gift's going to take you. And now jump into production and working with um, television companies and um, all that good stuff. So it's definitely been quite the adventure so far. Looking forward to the next phase of this, this whole thing. That's wonderful. And I just want to uh, comment that you come from such a, mu a long musical tradition, never mind just the family, but I mean, you go back generations. Mm -hmm. And yours is the first generation, I think you and your brother, are the first two that are able to make a full-time living off of your, your art, your gift. Um, so to have that legacy passed down to us now and our generation kind of be the the torch carrier or torch bearer for for this generation you know we have that responsibility to um, make the family proud and um, you know hopefully we're doing that and also with that we have the responsibility to pass it on to the next generation um, so that more little smithlings can come, come along and um, you know grace the stage or whatever it is that they want to do but um, I just think that whole spirit of you know being passionate is what really drives us to be where we are today and you know uh, thankful to God that he's made a way for us to to have this be a, a steady means for us to, to provide for ourselves. Well I think the knowledge and experience that you're gaining is just tremendous and all I can say is keep up the good work because I know a lot of people <laughs> be sure. knocking on your door to ask you how you did it. Yeah yeah uh huh. So what are you going to yeah. share with us this evening? Um, first song is a song called Dream. I wrote it when I was uh, about 17 years mm -hmm. old. Um, <laughs> and it's still, it's still everybody's favorite song of mine, probably mine too, just because the message is so positive and um, we all should have some type of dream, you know, and I think, I think that's important. Um, the second song is Bridge Over Troubled Water, which is an iconic song. Um, if you don't know it, you've lived under, under a rock. <laughs> um, but hopefully you're not under there anymore, but um, the message in the song is also very powerful, uh, especially in times like this where, you know, we need to lean on each other, especially with COVID and being in isolation and not really knowing what's going to happen. Um, you know, just having positive words of affirmation and music is amazing for that. Um, so to be able to sing the song, it speaks to myself and also speaks to others, and that's why I chose them. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, join me in welcoming to the stage of Lift Every Voice, Rini Smith. Just dream big 
inside yourself and you will see Down. 